If houses could talk, what would this one say? What other stories are in the house from Bull Durham? Let's look and see. Yes, the house in Bull Durham is actually in Durham, and now it's on the market. Built in 1880 for James Manning, the Queen Anne-style home was vacant when director Ron Shelton chose the location for Bull Durham in 1988. Uh, this is one of the oldest existing homes in Durham, built in, in the 1880s. There were, there were other lots of other houses that were older, but they've been torn down or were less architecturally significant. Um, so this is one of the, the oldest surviving houses in Durham. Wow. Protected by the Historic Preservation Society of Durham, the James Manning house is on the market for, oh, $1.6 million and features a gorgeous updated kitchen, huge back porch, and almost 4,000 square feet. An amazing find if you love historic homes, popular culture, and life in downtown Durham. Okay, with a five to 10 minute walk, you get to so much of what makes downtown Durham cool. It's less than a mile from DBAP. Yeah. So it holds up. Season yeah. Sarandon really could have walked from the stadium. Yeah. I know it's the old one, the but old one, right? it's even closer. could have walked from the old stadium yeah. Yeah. back here yeah. in the rain. Yeah. Kevin Costner could have been sitting on the front porch waiting. That's it right. all makes sense. Yeah, it's, it's about a half a mile to the, old, to the old ballpark. So many moments, so many iconic scenes from the movie happened in this house. I mentioned the bathtub, right? And then there's the dancing. You tell me which pair did it best. But most importantly, it's a house where you can turn your brain off and simply be. Mm -hmm.